What's up, Dookie Boys? It's Dookie Boy Diddler. Back with another Pokemon Radical Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. And the last one, we got our four gym badge. We did lose a couple Pokemon. We're getting unlucky with the crits, let me tell you. There, they've been some motherfuckers out here. But anyway, we got our fourth badge, and now we are back to the spot where our game glitched last time. Where we were able to go in the Poke Center and get this encounter, but then we went in one of these buildings and got got an egg, and my game froze and glitched. So I need to see if it's going to be doing that again, and hopefully we can work our way around that. Because if we can, then we need to be heading into the game corner to take on uh, Lieutenant Sir, to take on uh, Giovanni and Team Rocket. So let's see if we can get around this shit, and then we'll hopefully make it into the game corner. Okay, okay, that's right, that's right. We do get an encounter here. <clears throat> we received the egg, that's right. We got this egg, and last time it was fucking, uh, I'm gonna go to the pipe hole. The legendary. But the problem with that, oh, it's already evolving. Oh, shit. Oh, it's an Amoris. An Amora this time. Okay, okay, last time it was something different. So that's still different. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Long neck over here is a rock and ice type. Surge Surfer, double speed and electric terrain. I mean, I guess that's okay, but uh, let's go ahead and get to evolve and just jump. All right, we went ahead and evolved our long neck, and he has the ability Steadfast. Being flinch raises speed. Not terrible, not terrible. A good special attacker, good special defenser, and he actually learned some decent moves, so, uh, hmm, not terrible, not terrible. Okay, Dookies. Here is where my game crashed last time. So let's see what happens. We were we able to go in here. We were able to grab this. Um, let's go in Nick in so we can see what it is. It's still a Dreepy, so let's go in back out. Now let's see if we can get out of here. Holy shit, it worked. Holy shit, it worked. I don't know what happened last time. My game must have fucking, I must have done something wrong with fast forwarding, done too much. But holy shit, we did it. We got a fucking Dreepy. Hold on. Let me double check this. Let me make sure I can keep going. So it seems to have worked. <clears throat> we have got our Dreepy here. Dragon and Ghost type. Lightning Rod. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. So let's evolve this guy up and see what we're dealing with. Well, Dookies, I made a mistake. He doesn't evolve until level 50. Holy shit. That's actually insane. Oh my gosh. That's actually insane. Man. Okay, Dookies, let's go ahead and get our encounter um, for this city, actually. We haven't gone that yet. Um, so let's go ahead and use a super... I mean, let's use a good rod. Let's use a good rod. Let's see what we got going on here. Hmm. Yo, we got something. Yo, a really cool -y. Not terrible. We can get a colossal rock and fire type. Okay, okay. Yes, let's go. Really Coley was cut. The Really Coley is ours. Yo. Um, this guy has protein. Changes type to match and move. That's actually pretty OP. Interesting. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. This guy's got static. Carcoal, rock and fire type. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Okay, we have Colossal here. Rock and fire with... Solar power boost special attack by 50% in sun. Not terrible. I just need to get the sun up because that boosts fire moves too. Ooh, not terrible. Hiya. I'm a very important doctor. Yes, very much so indeed. Here, I study rare Pokemon fossils all the time. I study you. Have you fossil for me? Ooh, we did go back and get the old ember. But yeah, so looks like we can get two encounters. Actually, instead of waiting till Cinnabar, looks like we can get them right now. Um, let's do it. Uh, yes. No, 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 time. Walk a little. Okay, let me go out here actually real quick. He probably wants me to open some slots up, so let me do that too. You're late? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Give me the Kabuto. Uh, yes, let's give a guy a nickname. Let's see what it is. A Cradilly? Yo! A fossil from a fossil? Let's go! Okay, so we gave him the old ember as well. And now we have the Aerodactyl. Who we got? Oh, an Agron. That's pretty OP. Ron over here got weak armor. 
Okay, okay, okay. And let's see what our Cradilly has. Venus has Torrent. Boosts water moves by 50% at one third or less HP. Come on! Alright, the ability on our Ron is Suction Cups. Firmly anchors the body. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's, that's perfect. That's amazing. That's the best ability in the game. Best ability in the game. Okay, Dookie, so uh, in the same area we have the fossils, there's a couple encounters I'm going to allow myself to get. So talking to this guy right here, he offers, I offer fossil Pokemon in exchange for shards. So he has all these different shards. He has um, two, or what, he has, there's four different colors. So I'm going to allow myself to get one of each color from this guy. I'm going to allow myself to get this guy's encounter, which is just one of them. He collects yellow shards. If I give him one, he gives me a random Pikachu one. Um, so that's one encounter right there. And then this guy over here hands out starter eggs for a shard collector. So if I give him um, a red, blue, or green shard, he'll give me one of those Pokemon. So that's three right there. So we're going to go ahead and get all of these encounters real quick and see what we're working with here. Okay, so we got our encounter from this guy, and we got the three eggs. So our encounter from the dude was not a Pikachu, it was indeed a, a Bipom. And he has Dark Aura. Ooh. Ooh, not bad. Wait, why is your attack not perfect? Some kind of sick joke or something? Okay, so we talked to this guy. We got our first two encounters. And they are a not to and a Rowlet. Not terrible. Let's double check their abilities. Oops. Multi scale. Ooh, it's actually really good. And hyper cutter. That's actually good too. Not bad. Okay, let's go and evolve these guys. I know we're going to put them aside. And we're going to go get more encounters before we evolve everybody and figure everybody else out. Okay, we got our last two encounters from that guy. And holy shit, we got a Crobat. A Crobat with Steel Worker. Get out of here. And then we got a normal Blitzel with Rock Head. Not bad, not bad. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now let's go, actually, that's right. Now let's go and hatch these eggs. And then we'll check all the encounters that we have so far. Oh shit, one of our eggs is about to hatch. Oh, here we go. Ooh, we got a Libra Pikachu, I think what that is? Holy shit, okay. Okay, here's a second one. Ooh, a Litten. We're getting some nice starter Pokemon right now, boys. Okay, here's our last one. Took a little bit to hatch. What is it going to be? Oh my goodness, and the Lolan Muck. Holy fucking shit. Okay, let's check these guys out. We got Pikachu over here, electric and fighting type, with Bone Zone. Ignores immunity and resistance. Okay, not terrible, not terrible. We got uh, Litten over here, which we're going to evolve. Yeah, definitely. Light Metal. Dookie. And we got Muck Keith. Poison and Dark type. With Intrepid Sword? Increase attack on entry. Yo, this guy's busted. This man's busted right here. Watch this. This man is busted. Holy shit. This guy gets some good attacking moves. Oh my god. Ooh. We got a Torcat over here with Reckless. Boost moves with Recoil. Nothing crazy, but we are on our way to an Incineroar. So get ready. Okay, here is Incineroar, and he has Steam Engine. Being hit by fodder, fire slash water moves max his speed. Not terrible, because I am weak to fire, so I can bait some fire moves, some water moves and get max speed. And he also has Wicked Blow, which is a stab type dark move. Holy shit, boys. King's going to be cooking here real soon. Okay, okay, so we got a couple Pokemon evolved. We got Decidueye here, Grass and Ghost type, with the ability Intimidate. Oh my gosh, that's actually pretty good. We have Zatu here, Psychic and Flying with Unaware. That's not bad either. That's not bad either because we're pretty speedy and we're pretty uh pretty good on the special attack side. And then we have Zeb Strika here. With hydrations, heals, status problems, and anything crazy, but here's the thing. Look how fast we are, and look at our attack. And look what we learn. We learn Bolt Beak. Which, uh, if we move first, it does double damage. And it's a stab. And we have a move that can lower speed. 
Um, Zap Strike Up might be pretty OP, honestly. Holy shit. All right, all right. So we're gonna keep the same team we had for now. We're not gonna worry about too much about worrying about our team. Um, just before, I mean, at least not until we get the Giovanni. For now, I just want to push through into the game corner and get the Giovanni, and then I'll worry about messing with the team and all the new Pokemon we got and all the new moves and shit. Because his team is pretty OP, so uh, we'll worry about that later. For now, let's just go through the, the game corner and see what it's all about. We're also going to save our game corner encounters for um, after we beat Giovanni, too. We're going to save that till after Giovanni. There's a switch. Let's push it. Oh, and here come the stairs. That's right. Into the game corner we go. The rocket hideout. Ah, shit. That's right. We have to go through all of these different floors and shit and battle all these different dudes. Look for the keys. That's right. So if anything crazy happens, we'll let you guys know. But otherwise, Dookies, we're going to probably just skip forward to the Giovanni battle. At least to be getting Giovanni. Unless something crazy happens. You know you know how it goes. We'll be dropping Dukes along the way. Doop, 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 doop. This is the way to go. Yep, this is the way to go. Okay. <laughs> Almost full. <gasps> Speed up, you motherfucker. What the fuck is this? A fire and ground motherfucking Dodrio? Okay, looks pretty dope. Okay, Dookies. I think this actually is going to be a boss I got to fight. Yep to get the lift key who has the lift key yeah i wonder who fucking has it you dumb bitch give me the fucking lift key you're scary but we use grass guide oh easy okay that's fine that's fine we're speed rails which means we're getting faster and you're dead okay cool this will be easy never mind valiant shield this motherfucker thinks he's funny huh Easy. Easy. Easy peasy. Yeah, give me the lift key, motherfucker. Okay, cool. Now we got the lift key. Cool. Now we can take this and actually get to where we need to go. Let's go. Oh, shit. It's him. <laughs> it's him, Dookies. Hello, Giovanni. May I take a seat? <laughs> Hello, guys. We are here with our friend Giovanni and his friend Kangaskhan. And we are gonna fuck him up. Alright, Dookies. Real quick, I didn't even fucking notice that his little his little King Kong Kangaskhan baby is sitting behind him. I didn't even fucking notice that. That's funny. But damn, Dookies, this is gonna be a tough battle. This is gonna be a tough battle. This motherfucker has a Nidal King, a Honchcrow, a Frost Rodom, an Infernape, and a Mega Kangaskhan. Like, that's actually really OP. And here's the Pokemon we're bringing with us. I'm thinking of starting the battle with Slinky. Like I said, I, I think I definitely overthought this battle a lot. This battle is definitely worrying me a little bit because that Infernape has a Focus Sash. And he's not that, like, he's not that bulky. That's why he has a Focus Sash, but he's super fast and he's super strong. So these two are probably my answer for that. And we have some answers for everybody else. But let's see how it goes. We're going to start with Slinky. Slinky against Nidoking King should be a good bet for us. Um... Let's just see how it goes. Honestly, boys, I'm scared we might lose some Pokemon. Ah, this is scary. This is so scary. Okay, let's do it. Let's get into it. I'm slacking. I'm scared. I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from all, all around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I am the leader, Giovanni. And for running my plans, I will crush you. Here we go. This battle is going to be a little scary. I'm, I, am, I am honestly worried about this battle. He's got some really good Pokemon. Needle King. Okay, that's why we brought Slinky out here. Slinky's a poison, or a poison type, a psychic type. So he might not want to stay in against this. But I think what we do here is... Ooh, Origin Pulse also is really good too. Um, but I think I wanted to Apple Acid him. I think I wanted to try to Apple Acid. Actually, let me go ahead and round. Let me see what he does. If he swaps, this is probably the best bet. Because he probably would swap to, swap to Honchkrow. Expecting me to use a Psychic move. So I could do this. And this would do decent damage to him. Let's see what this does. So yes, he did swap to Honchkrow. He's going to go to Honchkrow. To Kangaskhan. Okay. To Kangaskhan. Actually, that's actually insane. That's actually... It's because he has Crunch. It's because he has Crunch. 
So I think that is the reason why he's bringing him out. Otherwise, I have no idea why. Um, either way, though, what's your ability? Insomnia. I think I... Because if you don't know, now you know. Fangs has Spore. So we can pop off a really, really strong Spore right here. Because he's gonna, he's, there's no way he doesn't go for Crunch. He's going to go for Crunch. It's just a matter of what do I do against this. I think I have to go into Fangs. I was going to do you originally, but I don't know if that's worth it this early. Honestly, I just don't know if that's worth it this early. Because um, then you'll take a hit. I don't, want, I don't want you to take a hit. I'd much rather swap you in on a fighting move. So let's go and do Fangs. He's going to do, do Crunch. There's no way. There's no way he doesn't do Crunch. He fakes out. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, fake out's totally fine. Now we spore him. We eat this, right? We have really good defensively. Yes, the berry pops off. And now you're asleep. Okay, that's okay. You're asleep. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. He's sleeping for the whole game now. Okay. So now what do I want to do? Because who does he think can beat me? Nidoking's King's probably the only person he thinks I can beat me. And against Nidoking, King, I think um, he's going to swap. There's no way he doesn't swap here. I'm going to go Aqua Tail. I'm going to go Aqua Tail expecting Nidoking King to come in. Haunch Crow. That's actually okay, though, because that's decent. Okay, decent. Because um, he probably was expecting me to use Power Punch, so I can't spore him. So against Haunch Crow, okay, here's the thing against Haunch Crow. Is Haunch Crow has Super Luck and it has Scope Lens. Which is boosting its critical rate insanely good. And then it has Night Slash. Which is, which means basically if he uses Night Slash. He should be critting me every time. And so I think that's what he's going to do. I think he's just going to straight up grow for crits. Because he does have Drill Peck. But I think I swap. I think my, my, my answer for this. For Honchkrow. All day every day has been me swapping to Zep Striker, Eating. Eating. The, the Night Slash, getting a berry pop off, him using Sucker Punch, me barely living, and then me using Bolt Beak to finish him off. Or I could use Willow too, that's right, I could use Willow. I think that's my answer all day every day is going to be you. Drill Peck, we eat that even more. Oh my goodness, the crit though, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me, the crit. Um... I think right now we have to go for this because we're faster than him and he can only do Sucker Punch against me. He swaps to Nidoking. King. This mother and chump. Okay, that's fine. Because now if he wants to do that, I think he's going to go for his... He's going to go for a ground move against me, so I, why, why would I not do this? Oh, he goes for that against me? We eat it, we eat it though. Um, We are faster. We are faster, so do I just stay in here and just go for like a steampunk? Um, hmm. I don't know. Slud bomb? Or I could go to you and shore up actually. Let's do that. Let's go to you. Good idea. I forgot he had that. I totally forgot he had that move. Okay, so now we do here. I think we shore up. He attacks me. Good. Good thing. Good thing. Good thing. We're not faster than him. No poison. Okay, the berry comes off. That's not terrible. Now we, now we should be full health. Okay. So now what he wants to do here last time is he went to... What did he do last, what did he do last time? He went to Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan sleeping. Um, I'm going to go for Origin Pulse. Earth Power. We eat that. We hit the Origin Pulse. It has 85% accuracy. That should do decent damage. Now I don't know if it's, it's going to kill him. Should do decent. Holy shit, the crit comes out for us, Dookies! Let's fucking go! I'm fucking hyped right now. I'm fucking hyped right now. I'm fucking hyped right now. Let's go. Okay. So, right here, um, I think all day, every day, you have to go Bastion here. Because Bastion is our, is our, is our defensive threat. Like, he motherfucking eats things up. That's okay. That's actually really okay. He can burn me, because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Toxic him. Volt Switch, who's getting toxic That's okay, I don't mind that. Please be the Infernape. Haunch Crow. That's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. So what he's planning to do here is he's no way he's not going to Night Slash, right? You can't use what you cannot use. He can't do that. 
he can't do that. That's scary, actually. Is he's gonna use a night slash? He has to use night slash, and so if he's gonna do that, are we faster? 108. I actually forget if we're faster. Night slash is coming out. I just don't know if. Hmm. I gotta think about this. I can try going to Fangs on the Night Slash. We need that. Okay. That did decent. He's poisoned. He's poisoned. I think I swap out. Because I just wanted to see what he can do. So he's going to do that. And then I go back to Bastion on the Drill Pack. And you mega eat that. And you mega eat that. Okay, so that's actually really good because now he should die to poison. I could, I might be able to go you. I don't know actually. I might just have to let Bastion go down. Huh? I don't know if we eat that. Hmm. I could try to do Water Star because it is a faster move. Let's try this real quick. He withdrew to who? Rodham. Interesting. Interesting. It's okay. That's okay. It's okay. We're burned. We're burned. This is my answer for him. This is my band. This, this, this is my answer for Rodham. So this is actually really good. We toxic right here. Bolt switch. Please don't go back to... Don't go back to the fucking Haunch Crow. Thank you. Hit this. Yes. Yes. This is beautiful right here. This is beautiful. There's no way he's not trying to pop off a close combat right here. I'm taking a big risk. But I'm thinking he's going to go for close combat here. I think he's going to go for close combat. He could go for Pyro. Mm, it's crazy. He could go for that. Because I'm thinking Decidueye all day. Because we're ghost type. And we have Intimidate. So we eat the ghost move all day. The fighting move all day. The fire move though, we definitely do not. I just don't think he does the fire move. I really don't. I really don't. He, there's no way he does the fire move. We're swapping. We're swapping on the, on the close combat. The close combat's coming. Come on. The close combat's coming. Yes! That is perfectly beautiful right there. Because now he sees an opportunity to use um, his fire move. I was going to Baneful Bunk him, but I don't need to anymore. He's actually pretty good. He's poisoned already. So now he's going to use a fire move on me. I think I go to you on the fire move. I might be able to just go back and forth. This is scary though. Hmm. Let's try it. Swords dances. Holy shitty fucking swords dances. Swap to you on the close combat. Easily. Easily. Intimidate. He lowers his attack. Okay. So, he also has swords dance. He could use Powerball, but I think... Dude, it's just scary. If I stay in it, it's scary. I could, I could Volt Switch. He swords dances. Oh my goodness, thankfully. Holy fucking shit. We Volt Switch just to do a little bit of chip damage to him. And they get us the fuck out of there. Because now who do I want to come in? Yo, you know who's faster than anybody in the whole fucking game? Hold on, you're faster, right? Oh, I don't think so, I don't think so. It's you, actually, you're faster. Hold on. Hold on a second, you're faster. You're faster. We go for the steam pump. We go for the steam pump all day, every day. Yep, that's perfect play right there. That's okay, that's perfect. Steampunk, it's going to do not amazing. Decent, actually. Wow. Because he has electric. He's going to go for an electric move on me. Um, honestly? No, we go back to you. We go back to you all day every day. We have to go back to you. We have to do it. You eat that. Nice. Actually, crit, too. That's right. It does always crit. That's right. It does always crit. Fuck. Um, Bastion might go down. No, 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 no. He's going to do Volt Switch. Um... I think we go to. I think we go to you. He's in a bolt switch. He's in a bolt switch. Yep, we eat that. Who's he got? Who's he got? Infernape. Okay, Infernape comes out. Okay, Infernape comes out. There's no intimidate on Infernape, so now he wants to do a fire move. Fuck. Um. Dude, Bastion might have to go down. Like, Bastion's really good, but. It's just like he doesn't have that good. I understand his defense is through the roof, but he's not like a very good attacking mon. So it's just like, and he has ones, dude. I don't want to find. I don't want to get rid of him though. I don't want to. Hmm. 
Actually, let me go for Baneful Bunk just to get one turn off real quick. A Baneful Bunk. Pyro Ball, yes. So he wants to do Pyro Ball. Hmm. I don't think I have anybody that eats a Pyro Ball, honestly. Like, yeah, I don't think anybody eats a Pyro Ball, so I think somebody has to die. And honestly, I think it has to be Bastion. It has to be Bastion. Because... And I know, like I said, he's really good, but he's weak to fighting and ground, which are really, really, really good moves. I have to. And plus, he has, like I said, he's no offensive coverage. He's just, he's just there. And I have Baneful. I think I have to get rid of him. I have to get rid of him, Bastion. I have to do it. Powerball. He has to go down. He has to. He had to go down because now he's poisoned. And now I can go ahead and do this and bring him out. Intimidate him, and then I can baneful bunk. He's gonna hit me, and he's gonna die. Yep, he's gonna die. Yep, that's why I had to do that. I had to do that. There's no way. And now he's left with a sleeping maw, and then he still has that. And this guy's poisoned as well. Um, he's faster than me for sure, right? There's no way he's not faster. So, um, he's gonna night slash all day, every day, honestly. That's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to Night Slash all day, every day. Um, I think we have to go to you. Drill Packs, that's even better. Holy shit, that's even better. Our berry pops off. Our berry pops off. Please, give me a decent amount of health. Ooh. If I... No, I can't. Dude, I think I have to risk it for the biscuit. Because he's going to Sucker Punch me. We risk it for the biscuit. Oh, he didn't sucker punch me. Oh my goodness, he didn't sucker punch me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he did not sucker punch me. This one's a problem though. Hold on a second. This dude's a problem because... Hmm, I could bring you in and shore up. But other than that, I don't know... This is scary now, because now this is not that bad. I just got to be able to figure out the kill, find a way to kill this thing, and then Kangaskhan's sleeping. So, it's not that bad right now. I think you have to go Slinky. You have to go Slinky. You have to. He's our best special defensive Mon. And now we shore up. Will-O-Wisp, that's actually not bad. We shore up right here. Get some health. That's actually really good. We're burned, yes. But... Um, let's actually shore up again. Let's shore up again. Let's, let's be smart about this. Let's be smart about this. Yeah, really good idea. Really, really good idea right there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So now we apple acid him. Apple acid. Yep. Critical hit. We eat this a little bit, please. Do some decent damage to him. Okay, especially defense dropped. His defense just dropped. He has a berry, though. That's okay, though. I'm burned. I think you have to shore up again. You have to shore up again. Bolt switches. We eat it. We eat it. We eat it. No crits. No crits. Kangaskhan. We have to shore up. That's amazing. Um, I don't know why he brought this guy out here, honestly. I don't know why he did that. We're going to Apple Acid. He's hoping he wakes up. That's right. He's hoping he wakes up. Let's actually get you out here. He crunched me. He woke up. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's really woke up. Very pops off. We're good, though. We're good. We're good. We should be faster than this thing. We flying press. Hopefully, it's enough. Oh, it's not enough. Body slam. We're not. We're dead. We just lost. Cro we just lost. Crobat. Ah! Oh! Not like this. Not like this. I think he goes Zep Striker. I think you have to go Zep Striker. And you have to Bolt Beak. We're faster. He's gone. Okay. And now he has this thing out here. We have to swap, though. We don't eat this. We don't eat anything this guy has. We have to go here. Go Slinky. Frost Breath. Please don't do that much. Thank you. Thank you. I did decent. I did decent. This might kill me. I have to, I have to shore up. I have to shore up here. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. 
You're a fucking beast. You're a fucking beast. Okay, cool, 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 cool. We shore up again. We can do this. We can do this. We have to just keep shoring up. Heal up. Keep shoring up real quick. Get full health. Get a decent amount of health back so we can actually attack him. Because his... Oh, that's right. His fucking shit's not... I should have fucking... Hmm, who do we have left? He's not fast, right? Mm, he's decently fast, but I probably could spore him, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and keep shoring up, though. Let's keep shoring up. We got a couple more left. We got a couple more left. Go ahead and skip through this. Come on, come on. I want to do one more, so I'm full health. Nice, we eat that. Shore up. Okay, we apple acid to lower his special defense. And then we shore up one more time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. More health back. Okay, cool. Yep, it's just a game. That's how it's going to be. And now we hit him with another um, apple acid. And this should do the game. This should be right here. This should be it. We survive. And this should be it, because he has lower special defense. This might be able to do it right here. Nope, it did not do it. Oh, no. Did I just fuck up? No, we, we should have enough. We should have enough. We shore up. We shore up. We eat this. Yes, barely, but we do. Okay. And that right there should be it. Oh, my goodness. This should be it right here. Apple acid. We don't want to... I don't want to risk anything missing. I could have used... Origin pulls, but I just thought it was going to kill automatically. He's, he's dead. We did it. We did it. That's it. That's it. We did it. Oh my gosh. That was so stressful. That was so stressful. Yep. And here is the slit scope. The slit scope. So now we can use this to go into lab Pokemon Tower and see the ghost. And now we can go save Mr. Fuji. But we'll do that in the next episode. Holy shit. That one was crazy. That was actually a crazy battle. Crobat, we, we looked really good there at the end, but then I probably should have played it a little better against that, uh, fucking what's his name, uh, Frost Rodham. I just didn't think he was going to switch to King as Khan, because it's because I lowered his special defense. So he knew he had no chance against me, and I could have probably, and he had Crunch, which, I mean, I was going to do you, you lower, I could have went to you, I probably should have went to you, actually, and done the, uh, Intimidate, and then I could have done, uh, like, but could, I could have kept doing baneful bunks until he fucking hit me. Or I could have bolt switched out of there. Hmm, yeah, I could have done a couple different things. But it's okay, we only lose two mons. And uh, that's it for the episode, guys. That's going to do it. We finally were able to push forward past the glitched area. And we had the slip scope. So next thing we're doing is we're pushing our ass into Lavender Town. We're going to go to the Pokemon Tower. There's a couple things to do there. There's a, there's a boss to fight there. And then we also are going to fight Morty again. we got to see if we can get revenge on Morty. So with that, boys, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that you dukies have a good rest of your day. And uh, we'll see you dukes in the next one.